How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the chord trigger. So I have the big pulse waves track in front of us. Sounds like that. And we're going to be adding a chord trigger to it. So in the MIDI effects region, let's select chord trigger on that particular channel strip. And this is the interface that comes up. So what we're going to be doing is mapping chord structures to a single note. So all you have to do is play a single note and it will play that chord for us. And we can do that, Let's notice that we're in single mode. If we learn, play a, key, or play a chord, I just played a D, it'll map that chord structure to every single note on the keyboard. So now if I play any of the notes, that's what's going on. So we can map a chord to a certain bass note. And notice in single mode, it'll learn the chord's shape and it will put it on every single every single note that we have specified within our trigger keys region on our input. And so in this example, right, so I have a we have all the trigger keys on the bass. So with my left hand I could play all of the bass chords and with my right hand I can still do a melody. And that's basically the power of this trigger keys uh, region here on the input. All right, so we can clear that if we want to and we can learn it again. Another thing to note here is that this does not adhere to the song key. So if I go to play a D chord structure, it'll add accidentals in. That's what. That's why it sounded so weird. Um, so just, just note that if you're trying to play in a key, this might be potentially dangerous for you. So now if we go to the multi mode, it's a little bit different, right? So what's going to happen here is I'm going to play a chord but that's only going to be mapped to the bass key or the lowest key that I played in that chord. So if I select learn and go through a chord progression, alright so in this case I mapped four different notes to four different chord shapes. Um, so now if I play through it, that's all in the key of D and some of them are different chord shapes even. So that's the power of the multi-mode. And uh, that's really all I have to show you. There's really not too much going on here. Um, but it is a very fun plugin to use and it can add just a little bit more spice to your production. So check it out. Ch -ch -ch check it out. If you have any more comments or questions, hit me up in the, uh, you know, below, below this video, down, down, down there, you know, you know. Uh, also, if you want to choose my next tutorial, there is a link in the description below that will take you to a survey. Take that, and uh, I choose my next tutorials based upon what you have selected. And then also, just stay bows. Always stay bows. Have a great day, everyone.